Um, we play more chess. This is my either my third stream or my fourth stream. I don't remember. Oh, I gotta log in again. <laughs> It's always weird when they just bring this bishop out so prematurely. I always I always like to develop my knights first and then my bishops. Um I'll just play this. Okay. Or, or if I do develop my bishops first, I'll fee and kettle them instead of just pulling them out here for no reason. Look, he even trapped his bishop in there. Um, by playing d3, he can't even move it back. I, I always like playing this bishop move when they pin my knight because it's much nicer to be able to capture back with the bishop than get double pawns. Um, okay. It's like, he must have some, I don't know. He, he, he must be so used to trying to go for scholars, mate. I don't know why he's doing that. Because I can just, because my bishop's there. And, and, and if I want to move it, I can just castle. I guess he's just pinning the bishop, whatever. I mean, Castle and King's side isn't good, but I could just play Queen E7. Queen e okay. Just, oh, I guess because the Queen's in the way and they want to Castle King's side. Okay. Um, I definitely want to Castle Queen's side here. I think I might want to play D6, 97. That puts more defense on this pawn. But this is a better square for it, but blocks off the bishop. But obviously I get more, I get more of a pawn center this way, so I think I'll go for that. Okay, yeah, um, whatever. I just do a castle, or how, how do I... Because he's going for fried liver. Castle here, defend up, defended by the bishop. For the rook of the queen. I'm just thinking, how exactly do I defend here? It's like a castle, but I don't really like castling kingside in this scenario. I don't. I that might be my only way, because I, I can't. I can't. I don't have any way to block off the bishop, because then he just takes, takes, queen takes, and then I'm in like the same scenario. Home with him threatening mate instead of fried lever. So that would actually be really bad. And I'd lose my fin cutter bishop, have this weak diagonal here. I think castling kingside is the right. I don't, I really don't like castling kingside here, but I think it's my only option. I hate doing this. I absolutely hate doing this. This pains me. But I think it's like basically my only way to avoid it. I don't know if I want to play h6 next or, or knight e7. Because h6 pushes this knight away to, to somewhere. Um, but it does slightly weaken my king. My king's you know, pretty much locked over here. On the king side, where he basically has all of his pieces. So I, I don't know. I mean, there's obviously no immediate threat here, um, but this could turn really nasty. Maybe with him like trade. Okay, he's just gonna prematurely play that. Maybe with him like trading for this bishop with some piece, maybe a knight or something. First, me to capture back here if I move this queen. And that just looks really bad, which is why I really didn't want to castle kingside, but it was really my only option. 
Ex except for like dancing my king around. Or I, I guess like moving this rook could, could have worked too. I, I I guess I guess moving my rook was probably better. But I also would have lost a pawn technically. I do still think that taking or not not uh, not taking but moving the rook there or the queen probably would have been the better option. Probably moving the queen so I could still castle kingside in the future if I wanted to. I think that, that really was the better option. <clears throat> probably. Why don't I just take the knight? I, I don't. I don't know why I didn't do that. I'm not thinking properly. I guess. I don't know why he hung his knight and I didn't take it. I. I, I don't know how I just realized that. That's not good. <laughs> that I'm missing things like that. Um. Okay. I don't know if that move does. Other than basically prevent him from castling kingside. I guess, does he want to play this? I mean, that just hangs a pawn, so I, I don't know why he would want to play that. Maybe he wants to play this and then this. I should have some plan if he plays this. I could just play this. That exposes my king, but... But I can just capture with the bishop. Um, let's see here. I don't like this position. I can play this. Get a stronger pawn center. That looks good, I think. Threatening these two squares here. I'll just play that. I'm not. I'm not really sure, but uh, I guess I'll just play that. Okay, he's just gonna play that prematurely. I'm not entirely sure why. That literally just ends upon. Um, you might not see my queen here defending. Okay, and then this connects my rooks too, which is really nice. I, I mean, I was looking for some way to get my queen out, and he just gave me the uh, golden opportunity. Um, okay. Could offer a queen trade here, but considering how closed it is right now, I don't think a queen trade is very good. Um, oh, I go here. Actually, that's not winning the rook technically because because I mean, no, number one, the queen's defending. Number two, the queen can just block. Um, but I could do this, and if he doesn't block, which he probably will, now that I'm thinking about it I could take this pawn but I figure now now that I'm thinking about it, he probably will just block with the queen which isn't great it doesn't leave any great squares for my queen think about maybe I get this bishop out of the way right here I mean obviously I obviously I gotta move my queen to safety first um here doesn't work because there's just this and then I just get chased. Um, here, because if he takes, I can take with the knight. I think. Also, also threatening the queen. Trade might be beneficial. Maybe. He does have these two pieces here which aren't developed, so I guess trade would probably be beneficial. I'm not entirely sure. But maybe. We'll see. We'll see how this works out. Okay. So he's not going to accept the trade. So I think his idea here is rook g1. And then, like, somehow hope I move the queen somewhere. And then mate here. I could go ahead and avoid that right away with this. But I don't really need to play that yet. Because I, I don't know that this is his plan. He might have just been moving it there just to avoid the trade. And not have any idea behind it. So I don't think I need to play that yet. I think I just need to focus on opening up the queen side over here. 
I'm thinking I play a6, b5. And then he moves here. Come on, I'm just trading, trading good there. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this pawn. I can take the rook. Hmm. I don't really see how I can get rid of that pawn. I, I guess I'll just go with a6, b5. If he plays rook g1, I'll play I'll play uh, g6 here. Okay, he's just developing. Possibly preparing to castle queen side. I mean, he, he would be pretty stupid to castle king side here just for several reasons. But yeah, I I, I figure he'll castle queen side. Not this turn because you know his bishop's under attack, but possibly when next turn he's able to. I wonder if I trade if he moves here. Probably not, right? Because then he takes with the knight, attacking the queen, so he takes with tempo. He's just going to move there right away. Okay. Interesting. Um, But I can just take now. If I play here, he... No, he doesn't win the queen because he has his, he has check here with the discovered attack, but I can take with the with the queen. So that that's not actually that is actually just losing a knight. That looks like a good move. I think still attacking the bishop. If bishop moves. Here, I can push this and threaten to trap it on the next turn. Probably play this. Well, whatever, we'll see. Oh, interesting, I just got forked. Okay. I, I do not see that. You know, this might just end up being even material here, because after he takes and I take the bishop, he doesn't have any safe squares for his knight. Or I guess he has a safe square here. Takes here. Yeah, obviously. Um, he can't take back right now, because I'll take the knight. Okay, he's just gonna play that right right away. Okay, so I don't understand. He's only up one point right now, apparently. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that works. Cause I don't know, some maybe some weird scoring thing. I don't, I, 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 really don't, I really don't understand that. Do I take? I mean, if I don't take, I just get captured back, so I guess I'll just take. Okay.
that's itchy. I'm gonna get this net out of here. Does that work? It goes here a tray, I think. And you can threaten the palm with this once it gets back. I guess. Yeah, okay. Obviously, try to use it best since we got material, but this knight is just very strong right now. Ugh, I don't know though. Because, like, this bishop is kind of my strongest piece right now. I don't like that. Whatever, I'll just try and figure it out. I could threaten with here, or I could threaten with here. Yeah. yeah. So what I might want to do is go here and threaten it and if he defends with that I can I can play here. I, I guess I'll I guess I'll do that. I don't know, that might be a bad move, but we'll see. Okay, just play G set, G6. Um okay. Just take the pawn, right? I take back with the F pawn once he captures. Yeah, I'll just just take. Okay. Wait, did I win back the materials in there? Oh, no, 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 I'm done. No, okay, yeah, I, I, I just miscounted. I don't understand how I'm, how, how it's even material there, because I have two mo I have two pawns for a minor piece, which I just don't, I don't understand how they're doing. They must be counting it really somehow. Okay, just threatening the knight. I wonder if I, like, just go for the crazy this, takes, uh, I mean, check, moves here, or no, he can't move there. No, that, that would win the rook, actually. That would actually win both rooks. Okay, so this is a good move, because it baits him to take this, because if he does... I take here, and then and then he can't. The king can't move to this file here, so he's forced to stay on these squares. And then I take king has to move somewhere, and I take the other rook and just win the end game. I I think that that's a good move. It it baits him. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That looks good. He might play this. I figure he might play that. And I'll just play this. Oh no 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 that oh no I, that was a that was a mistake. Because he plays this 
Oh wait, no, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. Because if he plays this, I can play this, this, and not lose the knight. Okay, we're fine. It's even defended by the by the rook. Okay. In case he gets attacked. So we're cool. We're cool. He must see it, he must see the threat, because I think he would have moved by now if he didn't see it, right? Because if I didn't have that threat, the obvious move would be capturing the uh, knight. Okay, so he does see it, clearly. Okay. So... I guess I just go here to defend against the potential of that because I have to move my knight. I, I guess I guess I'll put that. I don't see anything else there. There is some idea here. I, I'm sure he'll know this is. But if I play this, this, and then this. Uh, I guess he wants this pawn. No, wait, no, he can't take that pawn because my queen. I don't know what he's doing. But everything's defended here. Okay, now he has no checks. Oh no, I know, I, what am I, I don't need, no, 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 this, this just threatens me, because, because this, I, I don't know why I thought I had to move here. Um, okay. Just go, just go here now, <laughs> right? That just leaves both pieces defended. There's nothing here, right? I'm not crazy, right? Because this defended. I don't... Does he have some future idea about taking the knight? I don't see how he can take the knight anyway. A am I safe to play this now? Bait him to taking in the knight. And then you just play that and it's mate. Um... I think I'm safe to play that. I don't think there's anything there. I just gotta be careful about this knight. If I just like blundered mate and one, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. I highly doubt he's not gonna see that mate. It'd be really cool if he didn't, but I'm sure he will. Okay. Can I go for perpetual check here? I don't think I can. Because this, he just moves here. And then just playing here, give me perpetual check, captures back. Takes, I do win uh, points here, elo points. 
if I draw. And then he doesn't have any way to block. So I, I can just move the queen back and forth. Keep putting him in check. Because, yeah, he has absolutely no way to block. So I think I just go for that. Yeah, that should work. I'm pretty sure. Like, there's no... Yeah, that has to work, right? I don't see any way that that doesn't work. I'm going to offer a draw here. See if he just doesn't make us play the waiting game. <laughs> okay, so we're ending this on the 50 move roll. Yes, that's fine. <laughs> All right, cool. Wasn't a very honorable way to to gain the low points, um, but whatever. That was that was a good game. I I'm, I'm surprised I was able to draw there. There was a lot of threats there. It, it all kind of came from passing the king side here. Kind of, I think why that game went so bad. I mean, obviously, like. Hanging a fork here um, was also really bad. It's weird. It says I'm winning on the analysis. I just slightly winning. Oh, it says I'm winning by a lot. It's weird. Huh. Can I have won this? Oh my gosh, it still says I'm winning by like a good amount. Okay, and then it's equal. And then it's just a draw. Okay. Hmm, maybe I could have won that. I, I have no idea how I would have done it, but maybe I could have. But yeah, I, I think I think a lot of that going bad really really came from when I was casting Kingside. I think I should have just moved my rook or my queen there to avoid fire liver. But that's okay. He's playing fast. I could have gotten the bishop here. Ah, oh, damn it. I could have gotten the bishop here with this check captures. Ah, oh, it sucks. That really sucks. Do you know where to get that knight out? I could... Uh, I can't really play that. Because then... I mean this, and then this, and that blocks off. Well, that sucks. Whatever, I m missed a hanging bishop, but that's fine. Try and coerce a trade here. Okay. Develop. It's just trading all his pieces away. Okay, looks good. 
This is a good, good diagonal beat to be on. I think so, yeah. And castle. I could have won the knight there too. What am I doing? Look at that. I missed two hanging pieces. This check takes. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? I'm gonna get this knight out. This knight here. This castle, I guess. I'll figure out some way to remove this knight. I don't, I don't know if there's any good way to, but we'll see. I figure I'm going to play this. Okay. Not sure what that move does, considering the king castled. Maybe this. Beating a trade. Um, he doesn't take. I'm playing this. Putting it on the same diagonal as this rook. Um, I guess. I really don't see anything else. I should probably try and reroute this knight at some point. Because it's not well positioned. I mean, I guess I'll, I was about to say, because there's not a bunch of activity on the king side, but there's kind of not a lot of activity anywhere on the board. Okay. I guess I just push pawns, right? Here, here. Yes. It's only moved 15, I and mean, there's all, already so much material lost. I uh, just put just some, some material trading. So I think I play here, but then the question is if he takes, do I take off the pawn or the knight? Taking with the knight offers more mobility? Because my knight's not stuck uh, defending this pawn here. But also taking the pawn offers a stronger center and gives ideas like this. Um, and then I don't even know if this is the right move. You, you could just play this, right? Maybe I just play something else. Maybe I play this. That kind of looks good. Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, probably this. Probably this, I think. I think that looks a lot better. 
Yeah. Yeah, get, get this rook activated. I'm a much more active file. Yeah, I, I, I gotta be using the rooks more than I have. Oh, I just don't know which rook to move. Pro probably this one? Yeah. Yeah, because I said the F file is more active, technically, like, slightly more active than the A file here. Not that either of them are very active, but probably probably the F file is better to keep a rook on. Um, if she takes here, I'll take with the rook to attack the queen. Which, not great having a rook there, but I can take good tempo. So, you know, that's, that's always nice. Well, actually, now I'm not sure. <laughs> now, I'm, now I'm actually not sure. I, I'm, I'm second guessing myself. Because if I, if I take with the pawn, I can play this. But I guess that's not really useful. Um, playing this also gives me an opportunity to double up my rooks. Yeah, actually, yeah, I'll do that, because uh, doubling up my rooks looks good. Um, okay. It's a really weird game. I guess double up, just double up the rocks. It's just then I'll probably play this. Hello, B Camilo One. Thanks for coming to the stream. I think I just uh, dip up the rooks here. That, that, that's all I really see. Um, if he doesn't move this bishop, if he doesn't do that. I could play this. Or no, no, because Queen's defending that square. Yeah, so that's actually bad. Whatever, I'll just double up the rooks still because I don't know what else to do. Okay, he's gonna play that. Ooh, what I could do now is this. Because if he takes, I get the bishop. Um. And if he. Pushes, I just take and still threatening the bishop. That looks good. I don't know. It is good. Let's we'll see. Well, that's kind of good. I have to take that. It exposes my king, which is bad, but I, I have to. Mm. This does not look good. I don't have any past pawns. I don't know. I don't know where to move this bro. Um. I can move it there. Move there, and if he plays this, 
I don't know. I don't know here. It's probably lost. Just throw it in the pot. I mean, he'll just defend. But I, I have no idea. I absolutely no idea what else to play. What else to play? I should have played. I should have played this. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Because you're gonna defend with the queen. Push this pawn, I guess. I just, I have no idea what to do. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna lose this game. This play something like this here. If he takes, it's obviously you know, checkmate. Queen here takes. Um, here, here. If he doesn't take. Then I take here, takes, check, takes, takes, check, block, check me. If I play this, 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 and he just like moves this rook, then I have like absolutely nothing. Like if he knows anything about like mating patterns, he's not gonna let that happen. But I just, I don't know. Let's hope he knows nothing about mating patterns. That's all I got. I'm guessing he just plays h6 here. If he plays h6, like this is all for nothing. He probably should play this. Okay, no, he's just gonna defend there. This is just completely lost. I think. Let's see what the analysis says, but I'm, I'm like 90% sure this is completely lost. I'm 
now I might be able to make this a draw. Just keep moving my pieces around. There, I really have nothing. He's probably gonna play this at some point. Which I guess means I should have cut my queen on that file. Then there's this, and I don't know. Wait, no, if he, play, if he plays this, I can take this pawn here. Because obviously, he takes the rook. If he takes the rook, I take the queen, he takes here, and then that's lost. Ooh, that doesn't look good. That's actually nasty. But if I take here and he takes the queen, it's me. Here. Oh, no, it's not. Because he blocks here. I have to take. And then it's... It's just lost. If you know the name about endgame, it's lost. I mean, cause he, I mean, I guess he only has this extra pawn. Which I might be able to stop somehow. I don't know. I'm just like, the only thing is if he takes here, that's not good. I might be able to draw if I have, because I'll be have like a queen. It, but against two rooks, I, I don't know. We'll see. I just pray to God he takes the queen. He absolutely will not, based on how I've seen him play, based on how I'm seeing him play. Oh my gosh. Okay, I might be able to draw this. I might be able to draw this. Okay, okay, I just gotta figure out what to do. <laughs> I, I just gotta somehow take his extra pawn and then it's a draw. Nice. Thank you. Oh, he's going after this pawn, isn't he? I, I, I gotta go where he goes, I think. Stop him from promoting. If I play here and he plays here, I... Oh god. I might be playing this wrong. Maybe sort of looking good. I can play this next turn. Okay, okay, this might work out. Obviously, not going to win, but you know, a draw I'll take. Okay, play this. He'd be wrong to play this. Same takes. Okay. Right here. Oh god. I don't think I can win.
I can't. I actually can't win. If he knows what he's doing, I can't win. Yeah, this is this is lost. Can you sell me here? No, I can't. I mean, if you, I don't know. It's here and then here. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I'll, I'll just resign because that, that's not going any good. Okay. So going for five level. I'll just prevent that with this. Oh, this doesn't look good. I shouldn't have brought my queen out. Over here. attack the knight here.
What I can just take that night. That is just straight of a free night because it's friend of the queen. And threatening before I can remove the queen. Um, yeah, that is just straight up a free night. I, that took me way too long to notice. I'll just trade takes in the play this. I think. Looks fine. Let's kick back the bishop. Where's this and this that the queen takes at the fork? I should play that first. I should play this first. Oh wait, no, 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 because that would have to work. No, 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 that's bad. Okay. Tries to be slick and place this. It's actually just a free bishop. Okay. So you're not gonna try to be slow. This. Now he can play this. I should win this minute. I should really defend that knight. Oh my gosh. Oh but here's this and there's this threatening this, obviously you can just this, but I see. Okay, just I need to defend, I think. I can defend this way. I think I'll defend that way. Yeah, it's the only safe square for my queen. Except for like here, but you just play this. I guess he just wins material here. Oh, oh wait. No, that does win material. Why oh, could I just take in here? What am I. Oh my god, what am I doing? Why don't I just take there? Take that. Somehow it's even material. Is he hanging out at some point? Oh, I remember. I remember. 
armor. Yeah. Okay. So now it's even material. So if I play this and he takes, it's a trade. Cause check. Um. There. Check. Not. Oh, not check. But take. So it is a trade. Good spot for my queen, wins the pawn, can't castle. But it might just be better to play this. This takes check. We'll take because he wants to still castle, takes back. Cast pawn and cast a queen side. The, the only thing that doesn't look good with taking is because this bishop is much stronger than my bishop. And I can always just play this. Um yeah, I guess it was take. Obvious move, there's no checks or anything. Okay. And I'm technically up upon now. What are you doing? Now I'll cast a little bit inside. That's a very good pass pawn too. Because it can't be attacked by any other pawns. Play this next turn. Unblock the bishop. And also protect against him moving like this, I guess. Okay, this is just pushing on this way. I'll leave this H rook over on this file. I'll just block. No, I'm not block. I'll just defend here. Well, but if he pushes, I mean, let's go here, and if he pushes, I'll just play here. We can play here, and I can play here. Take my own pass pawn. Oh, no, no, he can't play here for my bishop. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, yeah, I'll just, I'll just play here and. He'll probably play here, and I'll just play here. And then he'll do whatever, and then I'll play here, push my own pawn. Or actually, no, if I... If he does this, and then this, and doesn't defend it anyway, I'll just take. Just attacking my pawn, I guess. Okay. 
I just push. I guess if I push that, if I push it hangs this far. But like, takes takes here. He can't. He can't defend this pawn. I guess he can push, but things like this. And he's four for him working his pawn. See, I'm just fine to take here. Oh, shit, okay. This is my, uh, my weapon. Somehow it's still even material, I understand that, because I'm pretty sure they should be off the Yeah, this looks good. Okay, you can't defend this pawn. I don't think you've taken that piece. For like a while. As soon as we just both missed it for so long. Well, if he plays this, turn to win the hero back, we play that. I guess he could just take the. Uh, yeah. Um. That's fine. We play here. Take there, and then we take. Hi, Spooker Whooper. This probably takes a while, I think. Alright, yeah. How are you? Um, uh, I'm tired. How are you? Okay, that's good. Like the hair, thank you. Um, this, I think. Why oh, you sound down? I I don't try to. This is just kind of this is kind of a normal voice, I guess. Seems sad and depressed. Hmm.
Oh, I could offer a trade here. And if he declines, I could just push. Oh yeah, that's good. That's a really good trade. Because he can't move the rook here to defend promotion. That yeah, that that's good. That looks good. Oh, okay. Who's here? Okay, here. Goes here. I'm not sure. Oh. What is he doing that move for? I have I have no idea why he decided to play that. Oh my gosh. I we just have this. He plays here, we just play this to find like a bishop, and then we have this. Can't even defend with this rook because that trial is protected. This actually looks really good. I'm surprised. I'm down a whole. I'm down. I'm I'm down a whole three points, or two points, going on the pawn, and I, I I really think I can win this. If I just push here, and the next turn is defended when I push. May you give a hint? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Should push the pawn one more step and then move the rook behind it as protection. The only thing I don't like about that is because if I do this and then this, then he plays this and then I have no way to promote. Right. Um, but if I play this and he plays this and then I go here, he either takes and loses his rook or takes on it. I think I just ignore this threat here. Oh, no, I guess I can't. No, no, because I do that and he takes, and then I play here, that's check. He either takes the rook or or um loses his rook. And then I can just win because I have this pawn here. Um or, or he takes and I promote. Which seems like really good. So if I play this and he takes, I just win. I just win on the spot. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because he just pushed. I think my bishop won't kill. And then even if, even if I, oh yeah, no, he's screwed. Even if I go here and he just moves his king, I can, I can still just take. He doesn't have a check ready with the other rook, so watch out for that. What do you mean? Do you mean here? I can just take. What do you mean like here and here? I don't know. It's fine, I, I can just, I can just, I mean, this is just completely wrong. Oh, no, he has this. Oh, no, that's not good. I mean, he's in check right now. No, he can't do it, he's in check, no mind. It's completely fine.
Okay. That unfortunately for him, that only delays promotion by one move. Okay, and you just promote. He basically has to take. He still has no chances of winning, but. You know. And if he doesn't take a push, I can just play this and put up this pawn. Let's check. Oh, he was really on. What do you say? Oh, it's a good move. Okay. That was a good game. Let's see when it said I was winning. Like at what point? Ooh. I was winning by more here and then it went down. I guess when I hung my knight. It wasn't even that. Oh, interesting. Look, white's even slightly winning here. What move did that? Oh my gosh. When did that happen? That oh, was when I hung my rock. <laughs> Duh. I that is crazy. That I hung my rook close to the end game and still won. That is just wild. I'm and I'm not even like good at chess. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna play one one or two more games and then be done. Be done with the stream. Do you want a 1v1? Uh, yeah, after this game. You can see my uh, user on screen so you can find me. You can send a friend request on the You'll probably win, but yeah, you know. Okay, turn the pawn. Oh my gosh, you could have won the bishop. I literally could have won the bishop with this. Let's check. Oh, it's so annoying. <laughs> I always do that. I, I, I always miss when they do that. I miss that. Was that the last game or the game before where I missed that? I think it was the game before. Um, I'll play this and this, I think. No, I'll put this. I'll put this first to defend this pawn. To defend this pawn, and I'll put this this next. You sent a foreign request. All right, I'll I'll check that out after this game. Queen Keto soon, Castle Kingside.
Alphonse is fully defended, so that's that's fine. Actually, unless he plays this. If he plays this, it's defended again. Or attacked again, anyway. Case case I'm not gonna play this soon. I should have played this last turn, trying to get him to trade, get another defender on the pawn. Okay, I guess he's just trying to get rid of defenders at that pawn. Let's play this. Takes, I'll take back the queen. Bring us back. I figure they'll probably trade here. Oh, okay, just going straight. Oh, I see what they were doing there. I mean, they still hung their bishop, but whatever. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, okay, no, I see now. I, I don't know. Oh, no. Play this next castle. I don't know what he's going to play here. I'm just going to this. I'm just going to push pawns. That's kind of bad for them because now I have just a much better pawn center than them. Considering they have literally no pushed pawns now. Just exposing the scheme for no reason. Am 
might want to move my queen here. Not only does that break the pin, but I have discovered check here, which isn't at the moment useful, but that could be useful in the future if he doesn't defend against that. The only thing is now if he takes here, I, I have to take back with the bishop or not castle, um, which isn't nice because I really like the fiancadoed castle king's high position. Oh, there's also this, which if he takes back, I get a good pawn center. Like I said, I don't entirely like losing that knight, but I, I do get sort of a good pawn center there. It's not very well defended, but still. Um, he's just going to play that. See, what I'm thinking is this, and this threatens a fork, which you may not see. I'm like you're just feeling keto. See, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we go for this, and if he does something like avoiding the fork, then we're just feeling keto. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing this because he might not see the fork. And even so, it just centralizes the knight, which is never a bad thing. I guess I'm gonna play something like this. And actually, something said so if he moves his queen here. Um, we actually win it by doing this, so just check, even if they block, and take it, which I mean, he might not see, yeah, he probably will, he clearly sees the floor because he would have moved by now, um, I have three moves here. Take, which I don't want to do. I go here and I can move here. No, no, no I can't move here. So I, I have two moves. I mean, because this doesn't work, because then. I mean, I guess that's not move, but. I mean, actually, maybe that's good, because I'm going to do this. Maybe. That makes it easier to like pseudo castle. Oh wait, no, actually I really want to get rid of that knight. I think I play this. Play this. And if he doesn't move the knight, I trade. Takes. Takes. Try and move him back here. Do this. Try and do that. Because I really want that knight out of there so I can move my rook here. Oh, damn. Just, okay, I just lost my brain. I wonder if something. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll accept your friend request. Okay. Okay, do you want to do rated or unrated? Are you still here? I'm just gonna uh, 
whatever you want. Okay, I'll I'll do I'll do one already because you're much higher rated than me, and I'm I'm definitely gonna lose. Uh, but we'll yeah. yeah. It's probably gonna be my last game then on stream. So he probably point out very early, which I'm not sure. So I felt like that was the third move. It was your third move that you did that. That you moved your queen out. Um, typically not, you know, let a man do that. So either I play that or I play this. I think I play this, just to get the queen out of there. It does walk off my knight from here, but I guess so does so does moving here anyways. Um whatever. I'm not, I'm not going through my strategy very much since since I'm playing against someone who's watching. Not watching, just listening. Okay. So this traps your queen, right? I mean, it takes, takes. Oh, then you can move here. Ah. 
you see, see I'm doing that's cheating. Yeah. yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying not to give any specifics about my strategy when I'm talking. It's like I almost have something here. Not ah. Oh. Oh, it's like I just I feel like I just I almost have something really good, but I think I might not. Okay, whatever. I don't actually have anything here, but take my time. Yeah, I, 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 I thought I had something, but but I don't, I don't actually. Oh, I see. I see, because you can take... Take the knight with check. And then you can promote. It's interesting. I don't think taking your queen here would ever really work. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but uh, if you come... If you come to my this this is the last game I'm playing today, but if you come to my next stream, um, and you, if you send me a friend request, we can play next time. I'll just take the pawn. Oh no! Ah, oh, no, that's horrible. That was a horrible move. Wait. It's a good move. It's not bad at all. Yeah, but I had some like stuff here about your queen. I don't know, I guess it's not, I guess it's kind of all I had. I guess it is just kind of all I had. Whatever. Prevent me from promotion if we're getting a real promotion. Yeah. But it's just, it took, it took that bishop off that diagonal and she moved there. Um. It's not bad, it's just annoying that I had to play that. I was so close to having your queen trapped. I mean, even if you didn't take the pawn there, it still wouldn't actually be trapped. There was like some thing you could do. Oh, 
that's in the way. I guess I should probably castle soon. I mean, it's not like Castling King or Queen side really is good. Maybe I shouldn't castle. I, I, I guess being in the middle is technically better for my king here. Oh damn! I, oh my gosh! I saw that fork, but I but moving that pawn would have brought like I saw that earlier, but I ignored it because moving that pawn previously would have brought the queen taken. This is just horrible. This is just... Yeah, I mean, uh, this is just completely lost, obviously. Um, so. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I just I'm still fighting through. Um I'm 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 just gonna resign. That was a good game. Thanks for playing with me. You you're you're really good. Wow. <laughs> that was GG. Yeah, thanks. It was yeah, I just got demolished. So like this was just if I told you something, you wouldn't believe me. What is it? I was still playing chess two weeks ago, really. That's crazy. I've been taking chess seriously for about, like, Two, two or three months, probably. And uh, cl clearly, still not very good yet. 
Um, but yeah, that's I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap up the stream now. Thanks, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, you can check out my YouTube. It's just in croissant. Um, thanks everyone for for coming to the stream. All right. Uh, bye.